Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and yes, a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Just in case you're only here for Disney content, I do have a Disney unboxing playlist that I'll leave linked for you right up here, but hopefully you'll join me for some other unboxings as well. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that these awesome lollipop ears are from the Confection Ear Shop, which is run by YouTuber Magically Emily. I will leave a link to her shop in the description box below, but usually she's only open for a few minutes and then she sells out for like the next few weeks while she crafts all of these beautiful ears that she designs and makes herself. Now this is probably going to be one of my last Be Our Guest Express unboxings for a while. This is my January box and January was the last month month where they actually did customizable boxes according to your preferences. They had now switched to a model which totally makes sense where there's just two tiers now. One I think around $65 and one that is around $125 I want to say. And then they just do two themed boxes for you to choose from each month which again totally makes sense. So maybe if a theme comes up where I'm really excited about it I will definitely go ahead and try it out. But they do a lot of artwork. They do a lot of gym shorts and Thomas Kincaid paintings, which are just not my personal style and I just don't have room for them in my house. So it would definitely have to be a theme that I'm really, really excited about, especially because I am so picky about uh, customizable uh, items, especially with Disney merch, because there's really only so much that I can have and I already have kind of gone overboard with my Disney subscriptions. So I'll probably be rotating around the Disney subscriptions that I receive and that I uh, review here on the channel for a little while in terms of maybe just getting like three out of the like eight that I've tried in the past each month, maybe even less than that. But if you guys have any favorites, please let me know in the comments below and I will make sure that I stay subscribed or at least subscribe every once in a while to get some more Disney magic for you here on the channel. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is actually one of their Christmas boxes. They do amazing artwork on their boxes and I do think that that is something that sets them apart from other subscriptions. So even though we are now uh, in the month of March, it's a little crazy to still be getting a Christmas box. Hopefully the box itself which like I said is a January box doesn't have too much in terms of Christmas items even though I still collect ornaments and stuff and just save them for the end of the year. Now in the past I had been doing their Enchanted Rose tier which was $65 plus shipping. I actually went ahead and went down to the creative level which I think is $45 or was $45 when it was available but the shipping to me all the way here in California was about $20 every time so that was the reason why I decided to try a lower price point and then they went ahead and changed their model and I was like oh well if I had known that I probably would have like gone ahead and done like a higher subscription tier for that one last box but that's okay. So inside you guys it looks like I've got my little packing slip and the little card that they do and some beautiful like pastel tissue paper and foozles. I actually love the multicolor pastel foozles. It's very springy even though the box itself is very Christmassy. So again here is where the packing slip is so we won't take a look at that. It looks like we do have some of the usual Thomas Kincaid um, little postcards that they have. Little like advertisements basically. This is the one of the child and in their first month where they had two different theme boxes they had the themes of the child and they also had the theme of Mickey and Minnie in love which totally made sense for February. I'm not sure if anybody's actually gotten their boxes yet but that was definitely a theme I would have been into. I think the next box is like Rapunzel or Tangled and then I forget what the other option was. I was like kind of tempted but like at the same time like I said I don't really collect a lot of like Disney artwork in my house just because I don't have a ton of of room for it. So um, let's take a quick look. Beautiful sticker as well here. Let me see if I can carefully peel the sticker off. They do such a lovely job uh, creating these stickers that then match the boxes. Presentation is on point. So opening it up you guys now you can kind of see all of the beautiful crinkle you guys. Isn't that pretty? So cute. All right so let me go ahead and dive in and see what I can find. I want to kind of keep things nice and pristine. So this is very heavy. The box was definitely like kind of lopsided. It was like kind of falling to one side. So it looks like a Thomas Kincaid on there but it's definitely not a canvas. So uh, let's see this is oh this is cool. This is one of those mugs um, where 
it changes when you actually add a hot beverage. So I've definitely seen this in other boxes. This is the Little Mermaid Falling in Love heat sensitive mug. So um, I do love the Little Mermaid. That's definitely in my preferences. Like I said, I'm not like a huge fan of like Thomas Kincaid paintings, just not like my style, but um, I'm a fan of mugs and the Little Mermaid and candles. <laughs> and you guys, it's a candle first. So it's got a wood wick and look at the sparkle on there. How cool. So I love that when you don't have a warm beverage in it, it's just your basic black, which you know is very much me. Um, and then when you pour hot liquid in it, or I guess when you are burning the candle probably as well, it turns into this gorgeous image. Where, where did it go? So it's like a classic image, but it's a uh, Ariel as a mermaid still, like seeing Eric there in the boat. So super duper cool, lots of like details in there. And I'm really excited to burn that candle. And I have to tell you guys, it smells really good. It smells very like tropical and fruity. I'm not exactly sure what the scent is. Let's see. It doesn't say, it says microwave safe, but not recommended, not dishwasher safe because it probably ruins whatever like magical finish is on there. But I don't know what that scent is. It smells like, it smells like pineapple or mango or coconut or I, I know those are all very different scents but it definitely has like tropical vibes so I'm definitely into it I'm surprised it doesn't say somewhere what the scent is all right there is a lot of just tissue paper in here and nothing else so hopefully that's not the only item that I got I mean I'm assuming that a fancy mug like that that is also a candle is not like cheap but again this box was $45 plus the shipping so I did find something else yay and that's what the packing slips are always good for, especially in these boxes that have tons of shred in them because then you can go back and double check. All right, so we kind of have like a themed box going and it is an ornament and it is Thomas Kincaid, which, okay. Um, now, normally with ornaments, you guys, and I do say this in all of my Disney box preferences, I only collect Mickey head shaped ornaments and same with pins just because otherwise I would go crazy. Um, so this is not a Mickey head shaped pin, but it does go with the theme and it's nice. It came with like the separate, uh, with the little hanger, a gold ribbon, it's a pretty gold ribbon separately. So it's this acrylic basically of uh, the kiss the girl scene but it's in the shape of flounder which I didn't notice like at first I was like what is that like blob shape so it's in the shape of flounder but you can kind of see it's like almost like matte on the back side and then it's glossy on the other side so if you put this in front of one of the lights on your tree it's really gonna glow and look magical so I love that. It looks like, you know, you got the good like aperture there. So it's all fuzzy in the background. Um, and I do think it's really cute that I got the um, Ariel and Eric mug as well as the um, ornament, even though it's like slightly different scene, but it's kind of cool because then it, even though it's an ornament, uh, it is the month of love. Well, this is again, my January box, but it arrived in February and you guys are now seeing it in March. So kind of appropriate just because it's a romantical scene. And let me just dig around in here. There's a lot of like just bunches of tissue paper. So I'm guessing, let's see if it actually has a price tag on there. It doesn't, but I'm guessing it's probably like $10 or more. And then we got a pin, which is in my preferences in terms of being a Mickey or mini shaped pin. And it is happily one that I don't have. Um, and it says the silver tag on it. So I think that means it's $9.99 unless the Disney prices have gone up, which is very, very possible. Um, of course, right now, our, all of us legacy pass holders are still getting like a pretty hefty discount, even more than the 10% that I usually like base my estimations of boxes on. We'll talk about that in a second. But it is a very pink Mickey head with a nice crown. So it's like a princess, I guess that's like a Princess Aurora Mickey head. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of pins in the shape of Mickey that are just like um, based on characters, but I would like actually really like that. There is like the like mixed grab bag, like blind bag that is based on different characters, but I'd love to see like full size pins where you could pick all of your favorite characters and have it styled as Mickey. Like they do that with a lot of ornaments. So I would love them to do that with Mickey heads. Although then I would have like something else to collect and add to my pin board but I love the sparkle of the crown so that's definitely going on my pin board and like I said that definitely went within my preferences um, now usually I base my like value on the fact that as an annual pass holder I was able to get 10% off items in the parks right now the parks are still technically closed but not the retail side of it here in California so they are doing away with the annual pass holder
holder program. They're going to come up with some other kind of like membership and reservation system, which I don't know if I'll be able to afford being part of it. But right now to, to get people to come and shop on Buena Vista Street and maybe do the uh, Touch of Disney event, I think they're doing um, discounts right now of like up to 30% on merchandise. I think it would be really nice if they gave uh, Legacy Pass holders a nice discount on the uh, Touch of Disney event. But I have a feeling at that price of $75, they're going to sell out in like five seconds flat anyway. Like part of me was kind of tempted to try and get a ticket to that. But um, I just feel like I'll just get really frustrated and there's other people that would probably enjoy it more and I'll just watch the experience on YouTube until Disneyland opens up a little bit more. I am sending in my like sip and savor pass because the food and wine festival last year was cut short so they are actually reimbursing people but you actually have to send the physical sip and savor pass in which I'm like okay they're actually re reimbursing you up to three dollars worth in, in shipping as well but it's just kind of a a hassle i wish i could just take a picture but i get it they don't want you to like just use the same picture and pass it around your friends all right so i think that's probably it i'll i'll dig around but let's go ahead and take a look at our packing slip so this box was packed for me by a braille who is amazing she also has her own youtube channel and a fantastic instagram account and she does this with jenica and i think that she does a great job she kind of knows my style and so i always know i'm going to get a good box when it's packed by a braille so this was a good way to pause my subscription with be our guest express and i definitely trust her when it comes to a themed box because there is going to be some variation even though it's not necessarily according to your preferences. If I can get a braille to pack my box I know that I'm going to like it. So we got those three items. It is the Little Mermaid Morphine Thomas Kincaid candle mug and it has a value of $28. That seems totally fair because you're getting a mug, you're getting a candle and it's like kind of a fancy mug and I love again that it's like normally just basic black. Um, and then we also got the Little Mermaid Thomas Kincaid hanging ornament that had a value of $25. Now to me that seems kind of high for an acrylic ornament, but okay. And then we got the mini head pin, which was, like I said, $9.99 because it has the silver tag on it. So the total retail value of the box was $62.99. So definitely way over the 10% that I would be looking for. So a $45 box, I'm really looking for a $50 box, but really the $62.99 pretty much much just covers like what I paid with the shipping but again I'm totally happy to get that to basically break even on the items and the shipping and just to have the fun of a mystery box even though it is according to my preferences which are very very specific um, there is something magical about receiving a gift like this and not knowing exactly what you're gonna get until you open it so I do hope to get to try out their new subscription model once a um, theme is announced that I'm really looking forward to and like I said you guys I do hope to continue bringing Disney unboxings to you I just have to kind of watch my budget because these are not sent to me for review these are definitely boxes that for the most part I pay for so if you enjoyed this unboxing please do give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was I think very obviously my favorite item is that mug just because it's such a unique item and I think the image is actually really pretty the scent of the candle is really lovely I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing whether it's Disney or not.